In the realm of entertainment, there are some stars who shine brighter than others, leaving a lasting impression on audiences. One such individual has captured hearts and minds with his incredible talent and versatility. Known for bringing authenticity to a variety of roles, this actor has a knack for making each character unforgettable. As you reflect on his body of work, you might recall a particular moment that struck a chord with you. It could be a scene that evokes strong emotions or a performance that resonated deeply. Feel free to share your favorite memories or experiences in the comments below. As we delve deeper into this actor's journey, get ready for a roller coaster ride of amusing, surprising, and touching facts about his life and career. Prepare to be amazed by revelations that might just leave you speechless. Your participation is essential, so be sure to share your thoughts with us. And now, without further delay, let's explore the captivating world of this actor's contributions to cinema and beyond. Growing up in Los Angeles, Hoffman faced challenges due to a learning disorder called dyslexia. Despite this, he found joy in acting, participating in school plays and local theater groups. After high school, he continued to pursue his passion by attending Santa Monica College and later the Pasadena Playhouse, where he polished his acting skills. His early experiences in community theater and small acting jobs set the stage for his future success. In 1967, Hoffman gained fame for his role in a groundbreaking movie, which propelled him into the spotlight. His performance earned him an Academy Award nomination and marked the beginning of his remarkable career. Throughout his journey, Hoffman showcased his versatility as an actor, taking on a variety of roles across different genres. His dedication and ability to fully embody his characters earned him praise from critics and numerous awards. Despite facing personal struggles and setbacks, including battles with self-confidence, Hoffman persevered, delivering memorable performances on stage and screen. Overall, his early life experiences and determination to overcome obstacles played a crucial role in shaping his successful career as an actor. In Papillon, he portrayed Louis de Gay, a quirky, awkward sidekick to a tall blonde man. This wasn't his first time playing such a role. Previously, in Midnight Cowboy, he filled a similar part. When he took on the character of Michael Dorsey in Tootsie, there's a touching detail in the first scene where he's waking up as Dorothy. A picture of his mother sits next to the alarm clock, adding a personal touch to his transformation. Then, in Dick Tracy, he played Mumbles, showcasing his versatility once again. Interestingly, he and Warren Beatty starred in Ishtar, a film infamous for its commercial failure, matching the epic flop of Heaven's Gate. That's quite a journey for this acclaimed actor. In delving into his roles, the actor strived for authenticity. To capture the aged voice of the character, he spent time in his dressing room, vocalizing intensely. This commitment to detail showcased his dedication to embodying the character's essence. Transitioning to another role, he not only acted, but also played a proactive role in production. Securing the rights to the novel for his company highlighted his dedication to storytelling. This emphasized his involvement both on and off the screen. In a comedic yet insightful movie, he not only led, but also had preferences for his co-stars. His choice differed from the director's vision, shedding light on the collaborative process. These instances illustrate his immersive approach to acting, whether through vocal exercises, active involvement in production, or expressing preferences for co-stars. It showcases his hands-on approach to his craft and unwavering commitment to delivering authentic performances. During the 1960s and 1970s, one standout actor worked alongside Robert De Niro and Al Pacino, bringing a unique flair to the screen. While his peers focused on specific roles, he effortlessly shifted between genres, showcasing a blend of vulnerability and charisma. In movies like The Graduate and Midnight Cowboy, he delved into characters with depth, adding layers to each portrayal. What made him truly remarkable was his fearlessness in taking on unconventional parts like a cross-dressing actor in Tootsie. Unlike others chasing fame, he prioritized artistic merit over commercial success, earning consistent recognition for his performances. In summary, his unmatched versatility, willingness to tackle challenging roles, and focus on artistic value set him apart from his talented peers during that era. In the movie Papillon, there was a big difference in pay between the main actors. Even though Dustin Hoffman and Steve McQueen had equal roles, McQueen got paid a lot more. But despite this, they were still professional on set, even if they didn't talk much. Their chemistry on screen was really good though. Then, in Hook, there was a funny mix-up with the names of the stunt doubles. Both Dustin Hoffman's and Robin Williams's doubles were named Keith. They solved the problem by one of them changing their name to Kafo. It added a funny story to the making of the movie. 
and in Rain Man, Hoffman was moved by the amazing talent of a character who was a savant. He switched roles smoothly, showing how good he is at acting different parts. Each character he plays shows how good he is at acting in different ways. Despite the ups and downs in his career, Hoffman always puts everything into his roles. His acting doesn't just stay on screen, it leaves a big impression on people all over the world. Dustin Hoffman's work in movies is huge, and he'll keep inspiring people for a long time to come. From selling lemonade to starring in Hollywood hits, his journey is one for the books. He started small, but his role in Midnight Cowboy still shines today, even after 50 years. It's amazing that both him and his co-star John Voight are still in the biz. Others from the same show have also made it big, like Sandy Dennis, Peter Fonda, James Caan, and Robert Duvall. They all got their start on TV alongside him. The story is all about going from lemonade stands to the big screen, showing that with hard work and talent, dreams can come true. He's not just an actor, he's an inspiration for anyone chasing their dreams against all odds. And guess what? In the world of entertainment, unexpected moments often lead to great collaborations. For instance, during a dinner chat with Paul McCartney, the topic shifted to Picasso's last words, sparking creativity. McCartney then improvised a song inspired by those words, resulting in Picasso's last words on the band on the Run album. In another instance in Marathon Man, there's a scene where the main character seeks information from a fellow student, played by John Hurd, who wasn't credited for the role. These unplanned encounters add depth to the film story. These instances show how talent, creativity, and chance encounters can lead to memorable collaborations in movies and music, showcasing the magic of artistic exchange. Isn't it fascinating how actors' careers can be shaped by the roles they choose? Sometimes, it's a matter of chance that leads them to iconic performances. For instance, in the movie Rain Man, Dustin Hoffman played a character named Raymond Babbitt. His portrayal won him an Oscar for Best Actor, beating out Tom Hanks, who was also nominated for his role in Big. Interestingly, Hanks later won an Oscar for playing a mentally challenged character in Forrest Gump. Hoffman and Bill Murray were both considered for the role of Raymond in Rain Man. Although Murray never read the script, he found the character intriguing after hearing about it. This just shows how unpredictable Hollywood can be. The magic happens when talented actors seize the right opportunities. Hoffman's performance as Raymond is a perfect example of this. It left a lasting impression on audiences and critics alike. It's amazing how a compelling character brought to life by a skilled actor can make such a big impact on the big screen. In 1990, he got nominated for a big theater award in New York City for his role in The Merchant of Venice. People loved how he acted, which was a big deal for him. After that, he started acting in movies too. One of his famous roles was in the movie Hook, where he played Captain James Hook. He acted opposite Robin Williams, who played Peter. People all around the world liked how he played his character. He was also friends with Gene Hackman since they lived together in the 1960s. In 2003, they finally got to act together in a movie called Runaway Jury, where they played convincing roles. He's always been good at what he does, and he's gained a lot of respect from other actors and fans. He really puts everything into his roles, which is why people think he's one of the best actors of his time. In short, whether he's on stage or on screen, he always does a great job. People will remember him for a long time for his work in entertainment. Back in the beginning, he and Gene Hackman, who shared a room with him, became good friends because they both really liked Marlon Brando. They often hung out on the rooftop, playing music together Hoffman on bongos and Hackman on congas. This friendship became the foundation for a long-lasting bond. He worked with composer John Williams for the first time in the movie Hook, where he played the character Captain Hook. They kept working together in Sleepers, showing how well they collaborated creatively. When he was getting ready for his role as David Sumner in Straw Dogs, he, Susan George, and the co-writer David Zelig Goodman all lived together for two weeks, as the director Sam Peekinpoe wanted. This shared experience helped make their on-screen connection more real. In a series of iconic roles, Dustin Hoffman showcased his versatility and dedication to his craft. One notable instance involved the use of innovative prosthetics, allowing for lifelike facial expressions in Little Big Man. Despite the technical advancements, the full potential of this technology wasn't realized in close-up shots of the character's face. In another acclaimed performance, he portrayed Carl Bernstein in All the President's Men, a role that solidified his status as a top-tier actor alongside his co-star. Their portrayals earned them a spot on the American Film Institute's list of top 100 heroes and villains. Perhaps his most transformative role came in Rain Man, where he immersed himself in the world of autism for a year 
drawing from personal experiences and interactions with autistic individuals and their families. This dedication brought depth and authenticity to the character of Raymond Babbitt, enriching the film's narrative. Each of these instances underscores his commitment to bringing characters to life on the screen, whether through technical innovation or in-depth research. It's a testament to his skill and dedication to the craft of acting. In the realm of acting, there are individuals who go beyond simply playing a role. They fully immerse themselves in their characters, leaving a lasting impact on both the audience and the industry. This particular actor's dedication to his craft extends far beyond the stage or screen, permeating even the most mundane tasks associated with his profession. From the meticulous application of makeup to the intense rehearsals between scenes, every aspect of his process is infused with passion and purpose. His willingness to take risks and his unwavering commitment to excellence have earned him a well-deserved reputation as one of the finest talents in Hollywood. This narrative of transformation and dedication serves as a powerful reminder of the profound impact an actor can have on the world of cinema. In the film Tootsie, he insisted Sidney Pollack, the director, play his agent. Pollack initially refused until Hoffman's agent intervened. Scenes between Hoffman and Pollack mirrored their real-life arguments. Despite discussing reconciliation for Rain Man, they never worked together again. He also portrayed Mumbles in Dick Tracy alongside Charlie Corsmo, who also starred in Hook. For Rain Man, he spent time with savant Kim Peek, inspiring the character Raymond. Writer Barry Morrow gave his Oscar to Peek, fulfilling Hoffman's promise to share Peek's story. Until his death, Peek traveled worldwide, astounding people with his remarkable memory. In The Graduate, he shared an interesting anecdote about his co-star Gene Hackman, who was originally cast as Mr. Robinson, but got replaced after just a week of rehearsals. This decision by Mike Nichols led Hackman to join Bonnie and Clyde, which earned him an Oscar nomination and set the stage for his successful career. In Tootsie, he acted alongside an impressive ensemble, including Jessica Long, Gina Davis, and Sidney Pollack, all of whom had either won or been nominated for Oscars. In Little Big Man, despite playing the adopted son of Faye Dunaway's character, he was actually older than her by four years. These instances showcased the twists and turns that shaped his career and the remarkable talent he brought to each role. In one film, he played a guy who was a lot older than his co-star. They had a complicated relationship and he acted it out really well. Then he was in another movie where he worked with a guy who won a big award for his acting. That was a big deal for him because it showed he could act alongside really good actors. Later on, he acted with a famous lady in a movie that was all about family stuff. People loved watching them together because they seemed to get along so well. He did another movie with the same lady and another actor from before. It was like a reunion and people liked it a lot. Remember that scene where he counted toothpicks? Yeah, that was cool. They filmed it in a restaurant and now the toothpicks are on a mural there. It's a famous scene that shows how good he is at acting. In the world of movies, there are always fascinating stories behind the scenes. For instance, sometimes actors get swapped around before a film starts. Take Midnight Cowboy, for example. At first, Michael Sarazen was supposed to play the lead role, but he quit because of a disagreement about money. Then John Voight stepped in, even though he had trouble with the accent. It was a bit like a game of musical chairs until Voight finally got the part. Imagine how different the movie might have been with Sarazen, we'll never know. These kinds of changes can really shape how a film turns out. It's like a puzzle of talent, timing, and luck coming together to make something special. And these stories remind us that making movies is full of surprises. In some famous movies, the directors instantly knew they found their main character. This person had a special charm that fit the role perfectly. The same certainty happened in another movie where the main character faced many challenges. Their acting was emotional and really connected with audiences, making the character's journey unforgettable. This actor was super talented, able to play all sorts of roles. In that one movie, they played someone who fought against tough times with bravery. This role showed how good they were at acting, earning them lots of praise and even nominations for big awards like an Oscar. Throughout their career, they kept impressing people with their performances. They played all kinds of characters, showing how skilled they were. Whether they were playing an artist struggling to make it, an ordinary person feeling lost, or a captivating antihero, they always brought something special to the role. In Hollywood's history books, this actor would always be remembered as amazing, with their acting leaving a lasting impression on cinema. Their work would be celebrated for a long time to come. In one movie, he worked really hard to make his character's coughing seem real. He even threw up once because he tried so hard. 
In another movie, he wanted a news reporter to play a small part, but she said no because she didn't want to be naked on screen. Even though things didn't go as planned, he still did a great job playing a single dad. Then, while filming another movie, he accidentally lost part of his finger. But even with the pain, he kept filming, even when he had to take medicine for it. These stories show how much he cares about his acting and how he never gives up, even when things get tough. Dustin Hoffman's public relations agent is Jody Gottlieb. In the movie Tootsie, he played the character Michael Dorsey. To prepare for the role, he spent two hours each day in makeup. He had to shave his legs, arms, and the backs of his fingers and sit in a sauna. Hoffman even taped back his facial skin and wore daintier looking false teeth. Despite all this, his five o'clock shadow was hard to hide, limiting filming to just three to four hours at a time. Interestingly, many of the ridiculous ways Dorsey gets fired or quits from productions actually happened to Hoffman himself. So, the struggles his character faced mirrored his own experiences. It's a testament to the challenges actors like him face in the industry. In a gritty maneuver to shed his all-American image post The Graduate, he auditioned for Midnight Cowboy dressed in tattered clothing. Meeting a film executive on a Manhattan street corner, he blended seamlessly with beggars until revealing his true identity. Later, in a tense scene in Kramer vs. Kramer, he fiercely battled over chocolate chocolate chip ice cream with his on-screen son, a flavor that reappeared during a date with Terry Gar and Tootsie. In another shift, he portrayed the conscience in The Messenger, the story of Joan of Arc, a departure from his role as Captain Hook and Hook, where Mila Jovovich's daughter, Ever Anderson, later starred in Peter Pan and Wendy. With six kids from two marriages, he built a big family alongside his successful career. Playing Raymond Babbitt in Rain Man is unforgettable not just for the character's quirks, but also for the personal touch Raymond's memory of names even includes his real life and laws. As Ratso in Midnight Cowboy, he got unexpected love from fans, even when he was on set in his character's rough clothes. He smoothly balanced his family life and work, leaving lasting impressions both on and off the screen. His talent for getting deep into his characters fascinated people, pulling them into both familiar and fantastical worlds. From his early days on stage to later success in Hollywood, he showed a versatility few could match. In each role, he brought a richness and humanity that deeply connected with audiences, making him one of the most skilled actors of his time. Despite the spotlight, he stayed down to earth, committed to his craft, and grateful for the chances he got. For many, he'll always be remembered not just as an actor, but as a storyteller who could bring any character to life, making a significant impact on cinema history. In his roles, he showed how good he was at acting and dealing with others on set. In Kramer vs. Kramer, he acted alongside Meryl Streep and had some struggles at first but learned to respect her ideas. Then, in Little Big Man, he worked with a bunch of talented actors and felt inspired by them. And in Straight Time, he decided to focus on acting instead of directing, trusting his friend to direct. Dustin Hoffman's career shows his love for acting and storytelling and how he handles working with others. In the making of Straight Time, he initially took on the role of director, but later stepped back, causing tension with Ulu Grossbart, who took over. His desire to align the film with the book led to clashes over creative control. Grossbart introduced him to the novel, sparking his interest in the project. This collaboration ultimately strained their friendship. As the project progressed, he found himself increasingly drawn to the intricacies of the protagonist's character, delving deeper into the psyche of the role he was set to portray. Despite their creative differences, both he and Grossbard were deeply invested in the success of the film, each bringing their own unique vision to the table. However, as the pressures of production mounted, conflicts arose, testing the boundaries of their professional relationship. In the end, Straight Time emerged as a testament to their combined talents, but the journey to its completion was fraught with challenges and sacrifices. In a famous movie, he played a villain with a hook for a hand. Surprisingly, they put the hook on his left hand instead of the usual right because he's right-handed. Before that, he starred in a movie from the late 1960s alongside actors who would later appear in Jaws. In another film from 1989, he acted alongside Sean Connery, who played his dad despite not being much older. Their performances were impressive, showing their skill and chemistry as actors. These roles show how versatile he is as an actor, playing different characters in various situations. This actor's portrayal of Captain Hook and his roles in other movies demonstrate his significant influence on cinema. In one role, he lost a lot of weight and ran a ton to really get into character. He wanted to make sure he seemed genuinely out of breath so he'd run before filming. 
Another time, he put a lot of himself into his character, drawing from his own life experiences. This made his performance feel super real and got people really invested in the story. In a different movie, he came up with a clever way to stay underwater during a scene, showing how dedicated he was to making things perfect. His commitment to being genuine in his roles and pouring his heart into them has made him a big deal in the acting world. In the world of movies, some characters stand out big time. Like this guy who played Ratso Rizzo in Midnight Cowboy. That role was so good, it landed him at number 33 on Premier Magazine's list of the greatest movie characters ever. He's also known for his role in Rain Man. But here's a fun fact he doesn't show up on screen until almost 20 minutes into the film. During the filming of Wag the Dog, he, his co-star Robert De Niro, and their director Barry Levinson got to meet President Bill Clinton. When Clinton asked about the movie, everyone turned to him for an answer. He came up with something on the spot, but he can't quite remember what he said. This guy's been in the movie biz for a long time, and his work has left a big mark. He's influenced loads of actors and filmmakers. He's a big deal in Hollywood for sure. In 2009, he received the freedom of the Italian city Ascoli Paisno due to his role in shooting a 1972 film. In the movie Tutsi, he played a television star named Dorothy Michaels, known by the nickname Tutsi. Other characters in the film, like Sandy and Les, added depth to the story. In another role, he portrayed Thomas Babe Levy in Marathon Man. Interestingly, in one scene, a movie theater with Jaws on the marquee is visible, connecting this film with another where Roy Scheider, a co-star from Jaws, was involved. These examples highlight his versatility in acting. In the movie Rain Man, he played Raymond Babbitt, a role that wasn't initially for him. Tom Cruise was supposed to star alongside him, but Hoffman worked really hard for the part and made it his own. He showed he could adapt and act in different ways. Apart from movies, he got a big honor in 2012, the Kennedy Center Honors. This was a big deal and showed how much he had achieved in entertainment. In Hook, he played Captain Hook and did a great job. He paid a lot of attention to every detail. Phil Collins said Hoffman really got into the character even before they started filming. This dedication helped him bring the character to life on the screen. Throughout his career, he showed how much he loved acting. He always gave performances that people would remember. Born on August 8, 1937, Dustin Hoffman initially set his sights on starring in Mel Brooks, the producers, but ultimately chose The Graduate instead, where he starred alongside Anne Bancroft, who happened to be Brooks' wife. In Tootsie, he subtly references Samuel Beckett, the Nobel Prize winner, during a pivotal scene. Hoffman's versatility as an actor shone brightly throughout his career, from his breakthrough role in The Graduate to his unforgettable portrayal in Tootsie. His ability to embody diverse characters with such depth and authenticity solidified his status as one of Hollywood's most revered actors. Indeed, Hoffman's legacy continues to inspire generations of performers and filmmakers alike, his influence resonating far beyond the screen. In Kramer vs. Kramer, he played Ted Kramer during a tumultuous time in his personal life, mirroring the emotional intensity of the role. Likewise, in Marathon Man, he portrayed Thomas Babe Levy, driven not only by the script, but also by the chance to collaborate with familiar faces. His connection with Gene Hackman dates back to their early days at the Pasadena Playhouse, fostering a lasting bond beyond the silver screen. These experiences weave a rich tapestry of relationships and motivations that shape his performances. In a remarkable film, an actor went through a big change with the help of Holly Woodlawn, an experienced transgender actress. He really got into playing a man pretending to be a woman, learning a lot from Holly. This teamwork made his acting even better and showed how serious he was about the role. There's this memorable scene in another movie where the actor had to handle a tough moment. He uses frustration to make the character's feelings seem real. This scene was powerful and showed how good he was at acting out complicated emotions. Once he suggested that a character should be autistic in a different movie. This caused a problem with the director who quit but it showed how much the actor cared about making his characters seem real, even if it meant shaking things up. These stories show an actor who's always trying new things and making his characters seem lifelike. Each role he plays is like a canvas for his creativity, leaving a lasting impression on the movies he's in. In a gripping crime flick, he played Max Dembo, captivating audiences with his amazing acting skills. The author of the book that inspired the movie was so impressed by his performance that he dedicated his next book to him as a sign of their teamwork and mutual respect. Besides his success in movies, he's also known for his smart investments in real estate. 
He owns a huge estate in Roxbury, Connecticut, and a lovely house in Kensington, London, showing he enjoys both luxury and privacy. His first wife, Anne Byan, was a talented ballet dancer, adding her own touch to their life in the arts and entertainment world. His life and work in movies and society continue to inspire people long after the credits roll. In a famous movie, the main actor had quite the challenge. He had to master the voice of his character, Michael Dorsey. The big hurdle was getting Dorothy's voice just right. Seeking help, he turned to his co-star from another movie they did together. They worked together as he practiced reading lines from another famous movie with his co-star giving him good advice. During a different movie, the main actor faced an unexpected problem. In one scene, his co-star accidentally injured him, causing a brief pause in filming. This incident added an unexpected twist to the movie's production. In another movie, the main actor took on a role as a favor to a friend. This showed his versatility and willingness to help out beyond his usual roles. His dedication to the character and his collaboration with his friend showed the teamwork in the movie industry. These moments give us insight into the actor's experiences, showing his commitment to his work and how everyone works together in the movie world. In the world of acting, there are stars whose influence extends beyond the screen. One such individual is a performer whose dedication to his craft has left an indelible mark on those around him. Back in 2012, he was honored at the Kennedy Center for his contributions to the arts. Throughout his career, he's taken on a wide range of roles, earning praise as one of the most memorable actors of his time. On the set of a particular film, his immersive approach to acting left a lasting impression on a young co-star. Despite initial intimidation, the guidance he offered proved invaluable, fostering a mentorship that extended beyond the camera. Another noteworthy moment in his career involved a memorable confrontation with a fellow actor, showcasing his ability to captivate audiences with his performances. These anecdotes illustrate the profound influence he has had on his colleagues and the entertainment industry as a whole. In The Graduate, he worked under the direction of Mike Nichols, who transitioned from the stage to film. Nichols ensured the cast was thoroughly prepared, with rehearsals covering every line. Hoffman recalls the cast readiness as expressed by Catherine Ross, suggesting they could have taken the show on tour. In Little Big Man, he portrayed Jack Crabb across a vast age range, earning a spot in the Guinness Book of World Records. Despite his versatility, he declined the role of Lex Luthor in Superman, which later went to his friend Gene Hackman. Hoffman's career choices underscore his commitment to diverse and challenging roles. Family bonds were strong on the set of Hook, where Dustin Hoffman shared the screen with his own children. His youngest son played young Peter Pan, his daughter took on the role of Jane, and his oldest son appeared as a little league player. This special experience created lasting memories they'd treasure. Before The Graduate, Hoffman had a supporting role in The Tiger Makes Out, showing his versatility early on. These early roles set the stage for his later successes. In Tootsie, Hoffman's portrayal of Michael Dorsey added charm and wit to the character. Behind-the-scenes stories give us a peek into the effort behind creating Michael Dorsey. Dustin Hoffman's impact on cinema is significant. His varied roles and skillful performances have influenced many in the film industry. He's recognized as one of the greatest actors of his time. In his early days, he crossed paths with actor Gene Hackman during their time at Pasadena Playhouse. Despite Hackman's departure for New York, he pursued his dream of acting, eventually rooming with Hackman, and later with Robert Duvall in Manhattan. The camaraderie between them fueled their aspirations, paving the way for their future success. He also honed his craft by immersing himself in the character of Lenny Bruce, capturing the essence of Bruce's performances with authenticity and skill under the direction of Bob Foss. These experiences laid the foundation for his journey in the world of acting, shaping him into the talent he became. In the realm of entertainment, one individual's journey stands out for its colorful variety and memorable moments. From playful antics in a toy department to crafting compelling scripts and embodying diverse characters on screen, this person's career is a testament to versatility and creativity. Collaborating with fellow creatives, they brought stories to life, showcasing their ability to seamlessly transition between roles. Their portrayal of a famous pirate opposite a beloved character solidified their place in cinematic history. From behind-the-scenes work to captivating performances, each chapter of their career adds depth to the narrative of a talented actor. Their contributions continue to resonate, leaving a lasting impression on the world of film. In a famous movie, he played a journalist named Carl Bernstein, which was suggested by Robert Redford himself. 
Another time, he became Captain Hook in a movie called Hook, where he acted alongside Robin Williams, who famously dressed as a woman in Mistress Doubtfire. He also played a woman in Tootsie, and his performance as Dorothy was so convincing that even teachers at his daughter's school were fooled. His ability to switch between these different roles shows how good he is at acting. He can be serious when he needs to, like when he played a journalist, or he can be imaginative like when he played Captain Hook. His skill at acting different characters is a big reason why people love watching him on screen. It's clear that he's made a big mark on the world of movies, and his influence will be remembered for a long time. In the movie Tootsie, he played a character named Michael Dorsey, a struggling actor. He really got into the role, paying close attention to everything, even the costumes that hid his Adam's apple and thick neck. He worked hard to transform physically for the part, and it showed in his acting. There's this cool moment during the credits where he's credited twice once for playing Michael Dorsey, and again for playing Dorothy Michaels, the character Michael becomes to get a role. It shows how versatile and talented he is. In Straw Dogs, he drove a cool car called a Triumph Stag, which added to the character's personality. Both Tootsie and Straw Dogs prove he's great at diving into different roles and making them real. In some famous movies, Dustin Hoffman showed how great an actor he is. For instance, in one movie, he wore a stunning red dress, which was previously worn by another actress. This moment showed how good he is at becoming different characters on screen. Another time, during an anniversary event for a movie, he talked about a scene that was so intense, some people had to leave the theater. It showed how movies can make people feel really strong emotions. In another movie, there's a scene where Dustin Hoffman's character gets seduced. The director made everything look like a jungle to show how tempting the woman was to him. She was like a predator, and he was like the prey. It was all designed to make the scene very tense and exciting. Dustin Hoffman is really good at playing different roles in movies. Whether he's wearing a fancy dress or caught in a seductive moment, he always makes his characters feel real. These moments in movies show how powerful film can be in making us feel things. It's like the characters stay with us long after the movie ends, leaving a strong impression. In the movie Midnight Cowboy, he had a tough time because of noisy snow machines during filming. These machines made it hard to record sound properly, so they had to redo some parts later. Despite these challenges, he kept going through the tough shoot, showing how dedicated he was to his work. There's this one scene where a big dog barked loudly at him unexpectedly, adding something extra to the scene. In another movie, The Graduate, he really pushed himself. He did a running scene over and over until he collapsed from exhaustion. He really wanted everything to feel real and authentic. Entertainment Weekly thought he was really amazing and ranked him as the 28th greatest movie star ever. This shows just how much people in the movie world appreciate him and his work. He's made such a big impact on movies that people will remember for a long time. His acting will be celebrated for years to come. That shows just how great he is at what he does. In a memorable scene from a well-known film, a young man finds himself overshadowed by the leg of an older woman. Surprisingly, the leg didn't belong to the actress who played the woman, but to a model named Linda Gray. Later, Gray would step into the role of the older woman in a stage adaptation of the film. It's interesting to note that Gray is most famous for her part in a popular 1980s television series. In another significant role, the actor portrayed a real-life journalist in a movie about a political scandal. Several years later, a documentary delved into the events surrounding the film, featuring interviews with key figures involved. The documentary received critical acclaim and earned a prestigious award nomination. On a more personal note, the actor has three children with his second spouse, born in the early 1980s and mid-1980s. These details offer insights into the actor's varied career and personal life. In a remarkable career spanning decades, one actor has consistently left an indelible mark on audiences with his incredible performances. His ability to inhabit diverse characters and bring them to life on screen is truly unparalleled. One of his most iconic roles was in a film where he portrayed a character he developed based on personal experience. Despite disagreements over the script, many credit him for creating a memorable character with nuanced depth and conviction. In another acclaimed film, the intense emotional dynamics between the characters struck a chord with viewers, earning critical praise and multiple awards. His portrayal of a conflicted father grappling with the challenges of balancing work and family life showcased his versatility as an actor. Interestingly, he took on a role originally intended for another actor, bringing his own unique energy and complexity to the character. This decision added new layers to the role, captivating audiences in the process. 
He also collaborated with a renowned director on a gripping film, delivering yet another standout performance as a president facing a high-stakes crisis. His commanding presence and charisma on screen solidified his reputation as one of Hollywood's finest talents. Throughout his illustrious career, he has consistently proven his ability to captivate audiences with his remarkable performances, leaving an enduring legacy in the world of cinema. In the world of acting, some stars tell incredible stories through their performances. There's one actor who's known for taking on a lot of different roles, sometimes ones that were meant for someone else. Behind the scenes, there's often drama, and this actor talked about some of it in a famous interview. By playing all these different characters, he showed how tough it can be to succeed in Hollywood. His ability to become someone else on screen showed how talented he was and how tricky it can be to make it in the entertainment industry. His stories, both on and off the screen, add to his legacy, making him a really interesting person in the history of movies. Once, there was an actor who played memorable roles in movies. In one film, he was Michael, a character who hinted at retirement with a sign in his apartment. Another movie had him as Ted Kramer, where he had a famous scene with ice cream that he improvised. At the start of his career, he and his roommate Gene Hackman faced doubts in a theater in California. Despite the challenges, they pursued acting with honesty and had unexpected experiences. This actor could switch between roles effortlessly, from serious dramas to funny comedies, impressing audiences and winning awards. His work with famous directors and actors made him highly respected in the industry. Whether playing simple or complex characters, he left a lasting impression on cinema, inspiring future actors. His impact on film storytelling remains strong, with people always excited for his next project. He holds a unique record in the Guinness Book of World Records for portraying the greatest age span by a movie actor in Little Big Man. He played a character aging from 17 to 121. In Straw Dogs, he portrayed David Sumner, a role that marked the first of three collaborations with director Sam Peckinpah. Peckinpah's last classic, Cross of Iron, was the final film in this trilogy. Hoffman's role in The Graduate presented challenges, as he was accustomed to stage acting. Director Mike Nichols encouraged him to adopt a minimalist approach, which ultimately suited the character of Ben Braddock perfectly. Adaptation to this style enhanced his performance significantly. In an amusing anecdote shared during a 2008 appearance on The Late Show with David Letterman, he recalled a prank he played on legendary actor Jose Ferrer while in character as Michael Dorsey from the film Tutsi. Hoffman introduced himself as Dorothy Michaels, a supposed fan from the Dallas Theater, and then jokingly propositioned Ferrer in an elevator. Despite the awkward moment, Hoffman later teased Ferrer about the encounter at a benefit event. As of 2008, he and Philip Seymour Hoffman are the only two winners of Best Actor in a leading role at the Oscars to share a last name, with Philip winning for Capote and him for Kramer vs. Kramer and Rain Man. He expressed interest in playing Shylock in Michael Radford's adaptation of William Shakespeare's Merchant of Venice, but missed out to Al Pacino, who had already been cast for the role. In Midnight Cowboy, he took on the challenging role of Razzo despite initial reservations from director Mike Nichols. Nichols questioned his decision, citing concerns about the character's unattractiveness and supporting status. However, Hoffman persisted and delivered a memorable performance. In All the President's Men, he portrayed Carl Bernstein alongside Robert Redford. Despite being nearly seven years older than their characters, both actors effectively embodied the roles of Woodward and Bernstein. In Tootsie, he played Michael Dorsey alongside Gina Davis. This marked their second collaboration following their work together in Hero in 1992, both films produced by Columbia Pictures. In a remarkable turn of events, Dustin Hoffman portrayed Max Dembo in one film and took on the role of the legendary comedian Lenny Bruce in another. The script for the first movie was initially written by Michael Mann, who collaborated with Edward Bunker, a former prisoner who served as a technical consultant. During their three-month partnership, Mann visited Folsom Prison to interview inmates acquainted with Bunker. Despite originally planning to direct the film himself, Hoffman stepped aside, allowing Ulu Grosbard to take over. Alvin Sargent and Jeffrey Bohm later revised Mann's script, resulting in all three Sargent, Bohm, and Bunker receiving writing credits, though Mann did not. In the second film, Hoffman starred as Lenny Bruce alongside Bob Foss and Valerie Perrine. A notable connection in Hoffman's career emerged when he played a character whose grandson was portrayed by his real-life son, Jake Hoffman, in both Barney's version and Luck. This fascinating series of events underscores the dynamic nature of Hoffman's career and his ability to inhabit diverse roles both on and off screen. 
In a famous movie scene, he made up a lot of the talking, adding his own style to the character of Raymond Babbitt. While shooting a scene where a car crashes at night for the same movie, he hurt his hand, stopping filming for a while. It happened when he was joking around with the crew, which led to an accident with glass on the set. He's one of only four actors, along with Marlon Brando, to win more than one Oscar just for acting in movies that won Best Picture. Jack Nicholson, who has three Oscars, got two of them from Best Picture winners. He's really good at making his characters seem real, leaving a strong impression on movies. He works hard at his acting, and you can see it in every character he plays, keeping audiences interested with his great performances. His talent and hard work make him one of the best actors around. His ability to think quickly and handle unexpected situations during filming also adds to his reputation in the movie world. It's no surprise that his work keeps inspiring new generations of actors and filmmakers. In fact, Dustin Hoffman's impact on movies is unmatched, leaving a lasting mark on the art of acting. In a memorable moment at the Oscars, while accepting his award for Rain Man, he warmly acknowledged his former roommate, Gene Hackman. Despite being 38 during the filming of Marathon Man, he convincingly portrayed a graduate student. During Outbreak, he resisted wearing his army headgear, altering a uniform detail to suit his preference. Despite these quirks, his talent shines through. Tom Cruise, his co-star in Rain Man, was called brother by him during the ceremony. Dustin Hoffman's performances are marked by his attention to detail and authenticity, making him a respected figure in the film industry. In some iconic movies, an actor made memorable performances that left a mark on audiences. He played various characters, each with their own quirks and challenges. One scene, set in Santa Barbara, stood out for its geographical inaccuracy. If the character were coming from San Francisco, he would have taken a different exit. Another notable moment was inspired by a soap opera where a character altered lines in a dialogue, finding them absurd. This actor's roles in four of the American Film Institute's greatest movies speak volumes about his talent and versatility. From the graduate to all the president's men, he brought authenticity and depth to the characters he portrayed. His contribution to cinema continues to be recognized and celebrated.